Okay, I'm at Shodok Island State Park at the campground. To the right is the riverside, to the left is the creek side. Straight ahead is the pavilions and the state park with uh, lots of stuff to do. Boat launch and park and Hudson River. So we're going to do a little walk around and show the sights. Okay, I'm going to try this again. <laughs> I tried driving, but my setup in the car is messed up. So I'm going to try walking through. It's kind of small place. Uh, a lot of times I'm just going to show and I'm not going to talk. Number one is on the left. There's a trailer in there. It's a pull through. Number two is empty. It says cap. I don't know if that means handicap. When we get around the back, I'll show some of the things. I'm not going to show the, the one to the left. To the right is just a... Looks like they maybe took their trail to the dump because they got blocks there. And no trail. <laughs> and here's number four. There's a pull through. They're large. You can come here with any size. And they have electric. That's all. That's the only hookup. They have a dump station. They have running water around. There's number five. Electric. Small spot. This would be nice for me. Picnic table. Fire pit. Lantern hanger. And this would be nice. Back the Jeep up. RV coming. That's how that RV's coming back. So here's number six. It's a pull through. Number seven. Class C in there. There's number eight. <laughs> There's a hose hooked up. I don't know if they're supposed to do that. Number eight's a drive through. But they got a hose going to this trailer here. I right, filling up the tanks. Number nine, the back end. And then you got a trail going that way. And number 10's got a big Class A of the Jeep. Number 11. Except that it's the furthest from the bathrooms. I kind of like this one, number 11. But these are electric sites, so I wouldn't go here. I don't need electric. I can go a week without electric. There's another trail. They have a lot of trails from what I understand. Number 12, a little Winnebago in there. I'm not looking into ones where people are. And it's a it's a, a loop. It's kind of small. A middle of Middle of the loop is pull throughs, and the outer of the loop is back ends, pull ends, whatever you like to do. Here's number 13. I kind of like this one too. And I like this one, number 13. It's, you can get a small trail in here, but this would be great for me too. Why don't you get the power, table, lantern stand, and uh, pipe it. Somebody mentioned that's to hang your food. I don't know about that. I don't know. But I, would, I guess I would keep it away from critters, but no bears. I'm not sure. And here's another. There's a pull through. And there's a water spout. There's number 14. They're, they're all nice sights. <laughs> the space between them all. Shrubbery, you know, shrubs. And here's a pull through. Over here, uh, there's the numbers on the other side, so I don't know what number that is. And number 15, the small Jayco. And 
and there's the pull through. You can come with a biggest fifth wheel you have. There's a small Coleman trailer, number 16. The one on the left, which like I said, I don't know what numbers they are because the numbers are on the other side. Big Class A. Number 17. And most of the ones on the right side, on the outer, kind of the same. Small trailers, cars, tent. There's the back of the bathrooms. Number 18. Tent, tenting. Two tents with electric. They're living it up. Here's number 20. So now this pull throughs are coming from this side now. So that's pull through. Number 19. But see, here's number 19, just for an example. And look at all trees and shrubs between them. So you're kind of private. But now this one, there's a water spout. So there'll be so often water. So this one, number 21, which get electric. Big back in area, table, maybe they whole set up. But it does kind of connect to the other one. So if you have, you know, a group of people, that'd be kind of nice. Number 22, I pull through, and I walked to one of them. 23, there's a handicap because you can see the table, and it's all kind of flat gravel. Oh, that's the one that actually goes through the, the other one, too. Okay. Um, I don't know if there's any. Okay. We'll do this, and then I'll, I'll walk into the one of the pull throughs. And then what I'm going to do is hop in the car and go to the Creekside Loop. And I'll try to do the same thing. Also, this is uh, it's in Shodak Island Park State Park, and right, right next door, like right through this trail here, there's big park. Uh, maybe I shall peek because I'm gonna do that when I camp out here. I'm gonna camp here next week. I'm gonna visit the park. I don't think I'm gonna do a separate video, but we'll see. So here's. Boats, and it's parked right on the Hudson River, and uh, it has all the facilities of a park has, including boat ramp. Okay, let's get back to the campground. <laughs> See if we can keep this about 20 minutes. <laughs> but I'm trying to show every site, so let's, you know, you can always jump ahead. Because this is only going to be the campground tour, nothing else. I'm going to camp here next week, like I said. And then it'll be a campground review and my camping for the night. Number 24 is got a pop up. Actually, it's not a pop up. Jay Feather with the pop out. Almost finished with this side. 25. I really like the outer loop ones. I really like them. Really like, really private. I really like that. That's number 25. And let's take a look at a pull throw. It's electric there. And that's the other road where I just walked by. And you pull in here, and you have your whole private setup right outside your door. Really nice pull throws. This park is really good. I <laughs> mean, so. You got a big, big camper trail of fifth wheel class A. You come here for twenty-four dollars and have electric. Here's water. Twenty-six would pop up. And here's another pull through right next to, right next to the bathrooms. Okay, I'm gonna cut it off here and just continue on the other side. Okay, I'm on the creek side now. There's the site I'm going to stay on next week. So, actually going to pick out my campsite. Uh, it starts at 28, I guess, if I'm doing it right, about well, 27. And same situation. This is a loop, but it's kind of like a figure eight, this one. So, same thing. It's got the two loops because it's like a figure eight. So, 27's pull through. 
28 as a back end. I have an idea which one I want, but it's 27 to pull through. Okay, so this one, half of this side has electric and half doesn't. So there's only, I guess it's like a third that doesn't have electric. Water, 29's pull through. 30's back in, kind of nice. I don't see electric, yeah, it's got electric. And that's 29 to pull through. Pull throughs are great. <laughs> 31's got a tent. 32, pull through. Water, water's out of order here. 33's got a trailer. Thirty-four is pulled through. Thirty-five. Nice gravel. Pretty level. Not the best for tenting. But thirty-six on the left. It's pulled through. 37. Glad I did it walking. 37. This is a long back end. Let's see. This is kind of nice. I want to be secluded. Back my Jeep all the way into here. Electric. If I wanted electric. It's got electric. Not really good for tenting. Not these. Let's hopefully the non-electric ones have a little better for tenting. In the next video, I'm going to camp out using that Ozark Trails hiking tent that I did a video on. And this is the end of the loop with a hiking trail. And they have lots of hiking trails. So if you look up Short Oak Island State Park, they'll show you all the, all the trails. It really looks nice. 38. Pretty big back end. Electric. So the lights 39, it's got a trailer. And I'm saying I'm not looking into the ones with the trailers. Or tents. So now we're on the opposite side of the pull throughs, which don't have numbers because we're on the end of it. <clears throat> Number 40. Pretty big. They seem to be getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> Still electric. Once we get to the other end of the figure eight, opposite end of the pull through, that's the handicap one. You'll see the table. Number 41. It's electric. I'm gonna walk into whatever ones I can that are non electric. Of the water spout right at the end of the pull through. They're really great sights. <laughs> really good. You wouldn't believe this is like right outside my city. I mean, I've been here before, but I never even thought about camping here until recently. Here's another pull through, the backside, number 42. Uh, between the Fire pit and the lantern hanger. Maybe you can put a tent there. It's dirt. Let's see what the sign says on the water. Oh, one on this side's out of order too. That was the opposite end of the other one that was out of order. And then here's 43, the last one on this side. Okay, I'm not going to talk because there's people as I walk by the bathroom. Actually, I'm going to cut it off.
Okay. I was going to say, that Jeep looks like mine. Well, it is. <laughs> okay, this is the opposite end of the loop now. Like I said, it's kind of like a figure eight. And then there is a, actually a playground behind the bathrooms. So if you've got kids, playground there. Not, not to mention a big playground in the park itself, which is right through that little path I showed. Here's number 44. So these are non-electric. And this is where I'm going to pick mine out. Now, if I wanted to be close to the bathroom, I think this would be the one. I can back in here. And maybe put a tent over here. Things are kind of congested over there. But I'm thinking the last one where that van is over there. I really wanted to see that one. I don't, can't win them all. And I don't think this side's got pultos. Because I guess this wouldn't be RV friendly, no electric, no pull tools. Number 40, let's see, what was that? Well, I think there was 44. So we got 45, 46, it's pretty nice. And 45 is really nice. Actually, I'm liking this one. I'm liking this one. I have the standard setup. Although that sights right there but it's not bad next door and then you have plenty of space for tents over here and really secluded from that side that one's a little a little closer than I like I mean I take it but I like to be secluded and I, I see like a cot camping thing ahead so I'm just gonna maybe I'll show a fast peek 46 pretty nice and 48 on the left. Forty seven. These are nice. And of course the further you get away from the bathrooms, I'm sure they're gonna be nicer, but eh, it's something you put up with. <clears throat> Forty nine. Keep in mind, this is uh, Wednesday morning, so people are leaving now. It's Wednesday in the middle of the week, so not big camping in uh, September. <laughs> uh, we're really not near much, you know, big mountains. And all. I mean, yes, you can in 30 minutes be all kinds of mountains. So there's even more people here than I expected. That was 51, 52 on the other side. I watched another video and the person liked, uh, I think he liked 57 and eight. Me from looking at video, wow, this is pretty big. 53. From videos I've watched, I liked 54, 55, which is coming up next. So here's another hiking trail. And here's 54. I'm sure you could have had some mud here. Guess could put a tent over here. Pretty level. 50 with a fire pit like I always do. Wow. Very clean. And put a tent over there too. That's 54. That's the one that I had my eyes on on the videos. And hopefully you're watching and spot one that you like. 55. Sunny spot. 55's got a handicap table. It's not saying handicap spot though. Pretty nice. Got bees buzzing around my head. 56 got a tent in it. I'd probably take any of these spots. I'd probably take any of these spots. 57. All kinds of gnats flying around now. 
This is kind of nice. It's uh, not that level. Put a tent over here. And we put a tent over here. I don't know why it's a little dug up. It looks like tire tracks. Wow. Actually, that looks like a tent spot. It's a little, little belly like that. But that's probably where I would put my tent. Because my tent's half that size, so I would put it in the middle of that. I'm thinking maybe this one. We got the number, so let's go back and look. 57. Like in 57. Sixty on the left. So all the middle ones don't go through like the other one. Sixty is pretty nice. Fifty-nine. Kind of. <laughs> I'm doing that with the camera just to, you know, show the way the land is going straight that way, and then it goes down. So, my well, tent maybe right over here. And that site's all the way over there. And that site, well, you can see it through the trees there. No big deal. <clears throat> I'm still thinking down there with the white van, that's the one I wanted. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry if the camera's shaky. I'm just switching hands. Another water. And these are working. <laughs> so out of the whole place, two wasn't working, which is by two out of. 10 or 12, 61's not going to wait, and then uh, 63, there's a tent in there, so I'll just take a peek in. 63's all, pretty much all dirt. 62 on the left, pretty wide open. Sixty-three, got a tent. Sixty-four over there. Sixty-five. Let me take a look at sixty-five. Pretty nice. Sixty-four is kind of small, but it's all grass. All grass. Guess you can back straight in there. You got plenty of tenting over here. Although it backs backs up right to that one that had the cot tent. And then 66 and 67 is where the white man is. Well, I think that's the one I like. 66. And 67 is the last one. The van in there. Actually, I don't like it that much, so that's good. Okay. That's it. I'll probably insert a picture or two with the prices and stuff like that. Hope you liked it. Uh, stay, keep an eye out for my camping trip here. One last thought. There is trains. Amtrak train comes by here. And uh, there is a two-way not far, too, so there could be some noises. Okay, I think this is the winner. I think this is the one I'm going to take. So you'll see more of me next week, hopefully in this spot. Plenty of room for a tent. My Jeep. Water spout right outside. Restrooms are two over. It's a little close to that one over there, but you can get a little walk through. It's a really clean, a little bit of junk, but nothing, nothing like I see in the National Forest.
Okay, I'm at Show Dock Island State Park at the campground. To the right is the riverside, to the left is the creek side, straight ahead is the pavilions and the state park with uh, lots of stuff to do, boat launch and park and Hudson River. So we're going to do a little walk around and show the sights.